The Department of Research, Science and Technology usually looks after the six universities in the country. For the first time, government has allocated 120 million kina to the Department for Infrastructural Development of Colleges. With the new mandate given, they hosted this two days workshop to allocate money to the 44 nursing, business and teachers colleges. These three different colleges were given 40 million kina each. Minister Malakai Tabar announced it today. But you must also be able to um, show and substantiate uh, your infrastructure and your maintaining the quality of education that is uh, given to the students. <coughs> As you receive this fund with this department, we need to say here that you also will be required to go through some quality audits and self-assessment of your institution. Starting next year, grade 8s and grade 10s won't be sitting for national exams anymore. These will increase the number of grade 12s each year. So the government has allocated more funding for infrastructural capacity building of colleges to cater for the increased number of students' enrollments in colleges. However, West New Britain Technical College has missed out on the budget allocation. Later, Acting Secretary Professor David Kavanamur explained that it used to be more and more vocational, and now with the name change, they will look into it. Uh, let me clarify the question about the West New Britain Technical College. Uh, there is a mix-up between uh, more and more vocational uh, school and now it's been uh, changed to West New Britain Technical College, so that is an oversight uh, on our part, but we will rectify it and get back to the institution. So uh, uh, that's, the, that's the commitment that we are making. At a workshop, representatives from the Department of National Planning and Monitoring were also there to explain the processes involved in receiving funds. Colleges were challenged to have plans available for capacity building, which includes infrastructural development, quality assurance, and sending lecturers and administration staff to training to gain required skills. In an institution, everybody plays a role to move that institution forward. So we need to also think about capacity of those in the admin office as well. Meanwhile, these mechanisms target capital formation and capacity building, which translate the medium-term development plan 2011 to 2015 into a more coordinated set of investment activity and links to Vision 2050. Vasinata Yama, National MTV News.